Hi, I want to quickly show you how to do the stitch that I use in artichoke French mittens. This is the same stitch that I use in my artichoke French sweater, and a few people have asked questions about it. It's funny, I thought of it as being so simple I didn't think that it needed a video, but if a video helps, I'm so happy to make them. So, I'm all ready with a little swatch right here to show you the four rounds that make up artichoke French stitch. And I'm set up with a purl three on each side of the faux cabling stitch. This stitch is built with um, wrapping the yarn twice around the needle, which creates an elongated stitch. So the first thing I'm going to do is purl three. And sorry, my yarn got funky there. And then the next stitch right here, I'm going to knit one wrapping the yarn twice, which means I'm going to go into the stitch and I'm going to wrap the yarn once and then I'm just going to wrap it again. And what I've done is added some extra length to the stitch so that when I drop this stitch on the next round, it elongates it, making it longer than the stitches next to it. And then I'm going to knit four. And then I'm going to knit one wrapping yarn twice and then purl three. And now I'm ready to show you round two. Okay, so now I'm on round two and I've already purled three and I'm up to the center six stitches. Do you see that that looks like more than six stitches? It actually looks like eight stitches. This stitch and this stitch are the elongated stitches that we made on round one. So when I come to that stitch, it says to slip that stitch purlwise with yarn and back. I'm going to go ahead and slip it and at the same time drop that extra wrap and that elongates that stitch making it longer. And now I'm going to knit four. We can do that, easy peasy. And now that next stitch is a slip stitch purlwise with yarn and back and I'm going to slip that stitch again. And you see that that elongates it and now I'm going to purl those last three stitches. So that is round two. Round three is almost like round two, except you don't have to drop any extra wraps. When you come to that slip stitch, you just slip it purlwise with the yarn in back. So I'm not going to show you that, but let me show you round four, okay? Here we are with round four. So the first thing is to purl... Sorry, that was my dog. She clearly wants to be part of this video. First thing is to purl three. And then I bring my yarn to the back of my work. And the next thing I'm going to do is drop this stitch off the needle. Because it's elongated, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to unravel. And then I'm going to slip these two stitches purlwise to my right hand needle. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that drop stitch and put it back on to the left hand needle. So what I'm doing is reorienting those three stitches and do you see how that stitch is now crossing over the other two stitches? And then I'm going to knit three. One, two, three. And look at that, I've got the first part of the artichoke stitch done. And now I need to take this stitch, this third stitch, and cross it over so it's over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is slip these two stitches purlwise to the right hand needle. I'm going to drop that stitch off and just leave it hanging. It's not going to go anywhere, don't worry. I'm going to put those two stitches back onto the left hand needle go grab that drop stitch, put it onto the left hand needle, and then knit three. And wait, I can't wait to show you. Look at that. Just made that little artichoke stitch easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can't believe I just said that. So there's your artichoke stitch. Please ask if you have any questions. I'm happy to help you. Enjoy.